Why does it feel so cold inside my heart tonight? Be my man is what she said It's not just the wind that's moving around tonight But quick and clean don't we get right Well, Glenn, the kookaburras are in. They are, sign, mate. They're they? bloody, they'll call out when it's going to rain, but they're <laughs> celebrating a, a good day today. <laughs> I like and that. Kookaburras, people say how friendly they are. What those birds are saying now, they're not kookaburras, no, those no, ones. But <laughs> <laughs> what the kookaburras say, you know, when you hear them call out, they're saying, this is our area. And if you Fine come into our area, we'll belt you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we've come to, came to a new spot. And uh, we're interested in this area here because see how much stone is sitting on the surface. So if we're on a surfacing, they work back to the clay underneath. But there's an awful lot of stone and, and sticks and things like that. There's a nice slope on that side. And this is all ground that when you're walking over it, you don't really detect. You know, you're moving through looking for a bit and you don't really detect. So we're going to roll the dice and stop here. And the reason we're stopping here is we've walked along the top of the gully and we found two huts side by side. And we like huts because the blokes built their huts where they were working. That's right. So we know they've got gold here. Our research tells us they've got gold here. Here's an area that's a difficult area to detect properly. So we're gonna start here and try and turn up a bit. Sounds good. Good day to be alive. Sure is, mate. Oh, good Mr. Luck. Fabulous, Silver Fox. Old Ken Hoth's over there having a piddle, but he's <laughs> <laughs> he's with us. <laughs> so we're going to make a start. Let's do All right, it, thumbs up, mate. Good luck. Ta. Glenn, you're on to a bit of a screamer here. Well. Sounds good, getting close. Yeah, and, and in good, in this good, uh, right on the on the clay. Yeah. Right in the pipe clay. and. It's, it's laid out and see, look, there's a little layer there that, that'll stop it. Yep. We're on a surfacing. Uh, Still in there. Yeah, and I reckon, I don't know where the first one was led, but I got a signal and I thought I, I'd shifted it. Maybe mm. I misjudged it with a coil. Mm. And then uh, I put my detector back in and... Ooh. And then it had moved. Right out into the human scoop. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good bloody scoop you got, man. Yeah, those extra large ones are handy. <laughs> <laughs> See anything, Ant? Well, I actually think you threw it out. I do too, mate. <laughs> yeah, it was in that first hand. Bloody thing. Hang on, I think you still got it in your hand. No? Got a bit casual. Yep. There we go. Right, have another go. Yep. I can see Yep, him. me too. Yeah. Very nice. It's just one bit of a couple in there. Yeah, just the one. Nice little start, though. That's it, on the board. And I suspect, unless Jeez. I'm a bad judge, there's another little one here around here somewhere. Because. Uh, oh, actually, that's not that bad. Oh, uh, yeah. It grew, hasn't it? Mm hmm. Well, it was a little. As the Scotsman said, put your hand up my kilt, lassie. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> she, said it's, she said it's gruesome, it's gruesome. <laughs> he said, put your hand up further, it'll grow some more. <laughs> oh, so gorgeous. it's gruesome. It's gruesome. Yeah. Oh, well, that's the first one out. Good job, buddy. Thumbs up. I, uh, I wasn't disappointed either because I dug, as I said, I blow the huts. Oh yeah. Beautiful handmade nail by, oh, yeah. by the blacksmith. Long before you could buy nails, the blacksmith had cut a piece of steel, hammer the head on it, hammer the end on it. You'd be out the bush here bloody building your hut or, <laughs> or building your sluice box or something else with it. Yep. So when we have our photo, yep, that'll, that'll good, be mate. the start of it. Very nice. Good. Well done, mate. Jebedali. Jebedali. See someone in our comments want to know what Jebedali meant? You'll have I to do, reply to them. Yeah. Yes. So just explain it now how it came about. Yeah, well, um, when I was in Poland a couple of years ago and I met up with Pavel, Eba Zvikrivacim na Magnesia, that's his channel, we were out there and we were saying, Jebedali. 
which is the Polish for, it means, Yejimadale means like, let's go. Or we were, we were um, the context that we were using it was for onto the next one. And like, we were happy when we got something, you know, decent. And then Glenn heard it as Jebedale. <laughs> so then he coined the term Jebedale. So it's a, it's a Glennerism. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a modern day equivalent of Eureka. That's it. <laughs> when That's we say it. it, yeah. So when we find something good, we, we so give it a good So as far as the spelling goes, you spell it however you like. Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's yeah. it. There's a few different spellings for yeah. it. It's, it's more of a phonetic word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jebedale. Jebedale. Thumbs yeah, up, mate. Good work, buddy. Good work. Thanks, mate. Glenn. Mate, you know when I said... Unless I'm bad judge, there's another little one around here because yeah. I thought the signal shift in its location. Well, that's in my dirt. Yeah. Something else here. So he's obviously in that little bit that I can turn back in because he's. He's a tight Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah. Isn't he? Did you film that first one you got? Uh, no, no. No, we got a little tiddler as you well. You got it in your pocket? I do, yeah. You distract people while I... Uh... What have you got in your hand? Didn't think I'd get him. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Must be the giant, the uh, <laughs> still <large> scoop. There's the bit Ken Oath just found. <laughs> oh, I just heard a Jeff from Ken. Do it? Yeah. Do yeah. you get a bit, Kenny? <laughs> what did you say? I couldn't hear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, talking about couldn't hear, Leah Monkey and her father. Maury, Maury Hazel. Good on you, Maury. Uh, there's mine, Maury. Oh, look at uh, that. There's one for Maury. Leah said her, her and her father watch. Uh, she said, Maury's hearing was down a bit. Well, so is mine, Maury. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Hope you're uh, having some luck out there, Yeah, guys. and I'm glad you're watching. Yeah, and, uh, Appreciate it. Spread the word. We'll go down and see what... So that's my second, and by gee, that's small, but... Yeah. But in the same yeah. hole, too. It's yeah, a that's, that's a good sign, hole. yeah. Yeah, yep. on, the, on this little slope. Yeah, beautiful. Thumbs up, mate. We'll go Thumbs and see up. what Ken Hope's up to. Let's do it. Don't swallow it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was pretty good because it was doing the exact same thing, you know, the oh, yeah. when you go over it and it fluctuates, the signal fluctuates. Warble sound, that's what, that's what people refer to as. There we go. Nice little Good work, dog. Ken Hart. Yeah. Yep. See where... Uh, Number two for the day. Harry, what's Harry's bloody handle? Unhinged Harry. Unhinged Harry just wanted me to call you near Ken and far Ken. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a little bit far today, wasn't I? <laughs> From you guys. Oh, hang on. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, up indeed, well done. Well, that's four, mate. Yep, we got four. Glenn just got two. Oh, really? Yep. Any size? Like on top of each other. Yeah? Yeah, same hole. Right there, mate. I found this stone for one of a bit of word. I was a little bit worried it was a bit of rust, but it's not loud enough. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, it definitely sounds good. So I've got my trusty table here. <laughs> Come on, baby. It's bloody rust. You're kidding. No, no, look at that. It is rust. Yeah. Oh, well. I okay. counted that one and had it in a canister. I thought it was a little red stone. Hmm. Well, that's a lesson to us all. Bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs down, mate. Uh, Thumbs down. We've here finally now. got a, a signal here. Right, so yeah. We've taken a bit off. So it's getting louder, coming around a bit, but I think it's today quite... where we are. I don't know, uh, even the, with the double D coil on the 600, 6000 rather, there's a little bit of electrical interference, isn't there? We're whether, a lot. Yeah, whether it's the weather it was, or something that's going on, yeah, I don't uh, know what's going on, but yeah. it's quite frustrating. That's promising now, isn't it? I think we're right on him yeah, now, so yeah. just don't take too much off the road. Well, we're heading off to Smogo uh, 
I've got a signal up there, but I'm not as keen on mine as, as the boys are on this one because I'm trying to take all the bits of rubbish off a little area. Uh, oh yeah, that's it. Just smooth yeah. it over. And... Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, we're heading up the smoke out. Yeah. That was two hours ago. Yeah. Oh, so that's this a... is out. Blake, I want to give a shout out to while Ant's looking for this little bit of gold, we're getting close. It's Nathan Ezard. Nathan comes from up around St. Arnold, does a bit. And uh, we had a yarn and he bloody uh, was worried how we were travelling when uh, when we chucked it in. He contacted me a couple of times and uh, he's a very decent young bloke. I say young, any bloke that's under 60 now, I say he's a young bloke. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, mate, yeah, I'll get close. you closer. So good on you, Nathan. Thanks very much, mate. I, I know I told you I'd bloody mention on, you. Yeah. What's that? I don't know. That mm. looks like gold. It is. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Well done, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny, <laughs> go, just... oh, geez, let's keep looking for yeah, it while it's sitting on the coil, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were right. It was a tiny bring, little bit. Bring just over run a bit your coil over here. There, there he is. I bet he's all right. This is the way we've going, been going today. Yeah. yeah. That's a buddy. Look at Kenny, see, he's got that. <laughs> <laughs> he's like somebody's magnified three times. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> there we go. It's only out of the left eye. Yeah. Well, that's great. That's great. Yeah, happy Because I was wondering whether we should uh, pull stumps or not. Yeah, there, so. I was thinking the same. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll see what right happens after lunch. Yeah. Uh, run your call around there to settle your old man's nerves, <laughs> and then we'll, uh, we'll go for lunch. Yeah, so good on you, Nathan. Thanks very much, mate. Unfortunately, no more in there. Never mind. Still, got one tucked in under the tree roots, and yep. you sort of got to. Nowadays, you, you can't just walk down the middle of the carpet. You've got to bloody push in everywhere and bloody shift things, because you won't be the first person there. There's always right. been someone there before you, or bloody oh, hundreds thousands. of people, or thousands yeah. of people. That's right. uh, so yeah, you got to, you've got to. When you think that's too hard, you've got to push into it. Right on, mate. Thumbs up. Yeah, let's eat. Can you hope? <laughs> Thumbs up, mate. Yeah. Alrighty, just finished my go. Ken Oath has a signal. It was just, it's just coming out of that hole there. She's got the dirt out. And it's out already. Right there. <coughs> Let's see what we got. Fish. That took too much air. Which is unusual. Well, it's probably going to be a bit deeper. He <laughs> <laughs> blends onto a signal. You moved it, it's up, yeah, it's up there now. Sounds like it anyway. Yeah. That was me. Mm -hmm. Put the bar over back. Go over with the coil again. I'm getting close. Yep. Upside down, turn the coil upside down and put it on. Keep this flat like that. Yeah, that's a bit tricky. And just drop it on slowly. It's on the coil. It looks like a bit of yellow to me. 
That one there? No. Oh, it has to. Okay. Drop that. That's obviously rubbish. Down there. Oh. Pick it up. Yep, that's it. Over her up. Yeah. What is it? Bugger, it's not gold. No colour on there. Just a um, piece of metal, I think. Bugger. Oh, well, thumbs down, Kenny. Bugger. Hello, right, Ant and Kenny, you got one here. Uh, we're about to shift camp and go to another spot. So, uh, in honour of we're going to dig this last thing on, and it's going to turn it into gold with a bit of luck. Your fingers and toes crossed. Right on, mate. Tractor a bit more stable than it was this morning, mate, or not? It is now, yeah. Yeah, it was making a lot of a lot of noise in the morning. There's a lot of BMI or something uh, going on. We're not sure what it was, but it was frustrating to the old mate. He was. Oh, yeah. Big signal, whatever it is. Oh, man, scratching around there. Uh, I was lucky enough to win a race at Melton Harness Racing last night. And Patrick Ryan, R Y E N Ryan, he contacted me and congratulated me and said he hoped I found a five ounce uh, owl in the gold today. <laughs> well, nice. that's not happening, Patrick. I've got six little ones, so. But thanks very much for that, mate. You're a good bloke and. Uh, Day's not over yet, so still a chance for the five ounce. Yeah. It's not going to be this one, though. Isn't it? Nah, just a nail. Right on, mate. There it is. There's a cover shot for bloody Playboy International. <laughs> 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 and we'll head for home. We'll head to our next spot. Thumbs down. Thumbs down, Kenny. Thumbs down. Do you want to do the review? Right on. The boys have got a, a signal here. We're right on the edge of a, a little area that's been taken out. We've cut back, we went to another spot and we were too late that, that someone had already picked their pocket and it had been well worked and well raked. So we only stayed there for about 10 minutes till we couldn't get any signals. Yeah. Then we cut back through the town light to do a quick bit of shopping for Josie, which nearly, I nearly ended up running up the back of a bloke that <laughs> stopped the tourists. And the golden rule is when you're going through a roundabout, middle roundabout. don't stop the tourists. Oh. Anyhow, two cars nearly became one. So we exchanged fingers and <laughs> kept going. <laughs> uh, fortunately, I had Ant behind me to back me up when things turned ugly. But this is a yeah, likely spot here. This is a good spot. This, I, I had a patch in here and this is a good spot. In the hand. Yeah, good work. Go 50 50 in the hand. Oh, yeah, but 50 is a big rock, see? That's all right. Oh, it's in the right hand. 50 50 again, but. This is very promising. This is a good chance. Bit of pissy rain, too. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, go away. Get rid of it. <laughs> it's, in, it's, in the, it's in your left hand. 50 50 again in the left hand. You might even see it in a minute. Yep, now open your left hand and let's have a look. Lady lead shot. Is it? Yep, bugger. Oh, right. At this point it's not gold, but it's at least pleasing the signals here. Yeah, still a few yeah. signals. So right out, boys, thumbs down. Maybe the next one. Well, mate, we've had a slow day on the gold and we're cutting back to it, to the cars. We haven't given up, but we've, we've been in a couple of places and had a slow gold. Yep. So for the one something better to show you, we found this hut here. A typical miner's hut, it's been a nice little chimney. Someone has <laughs> dug out this shovel and put it over there. I just put it over here to show you. Uh, so you imagine the blade that was swinging that bloody big 165, shovel. 170. Yeah, pretty big, uh, big blade on it. Mm. You can imagine when he's doing his surfacing, he's going along nice and slow over, nice sharp edge on it. 
getting all the gold on his shovel. So, heart, plenty of signals around it. We haven't got the detectors to do anything with it today. I just flicked around the, the, the uh, signals just to see how many were here. And with the 5,000, I think you could pluck out a nice relic. Um, because we've been short of things to show, that are <laughs> and, and don't underestimate it too, because in gold rush times, two or three men lived here and worked on that surface that we've been on, you know, so yep. it's part of our history, part of Australian history, mm -hmm. as short as it is, our white history. So uh, probably one of the early model Conroys out here. <laughs> I don't know whether, I, I haven't ever done my family tree, but yeah. uh, I don't know whether the Conroys came out for the gold rush or not. If they'd one been, of my ancestors did. Did they? Yeah. yeah one of the early yeah. family book I saw it. Yeah. Came out. Didn't yeah. do any good though. No. Okay. No. A lot of uh, a lot of people when they got out here mm. went into trades and started to sell to the miners and things like that. Yeah. I know one of my ancestors got a free ride out here from England on yeah. one side uh, in, in the Urgans. Yeah. Nice. So. Uh, yeah. They had to wear chains, but they got a free ride. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, on, let's try and have a bit of gold before yeah. the end of the day. Right now, it's nearly the end of the day and we've dropped into a little gully and it's all potholed all the way down and there's, 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 it's got good collars. And I've got a few little ones in before. I met a bloke called Mark and he's offside called Dwayne. I asked him to go on. Dwayne, who's a better looking of the one of the two, said no, he wouldn't want to go on. So we've got Mark. Hey! This is Mark here. Yeah. Hey, Mark. Right nice Mark, things. tell us what, you, what you're running and what you're doing, mate. The mighty 6,000. 6, it, it took me a while to to come over to the dark side. Yes, me too. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, um, I, yeah. I, I finally come to my yeah, senses. Yeah. The gold was getting harder to find yeah. and um, with the 5,000 and uh, right. got sick of going home with nothing. Yep. So I'd rather go home with something. Yes, yeah. that's right. That's and, small gold beats bloody no gold every day of the week, doesn't all, it? Yes, and I've always managed to get something with the 6,000, yeah. so I'm, I go home happy. Yeah. Beautiful. So yeah, totally yeah. recommend the 6, awesome machine. And uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, at the moment, I'm home nursing a bung knee, but a chippy. All right, I was going to say, yeah. if you're laying out nine grand, you'd bloody get your money somewhere. Bloody. Oh, I have to get it back now. <laughs> <laughs> Two months off work. And I'll you're offside, of Dwayne. What's Dwayne do for a living? Oh, he's a welder. He's yeah. a welder. Yeah. So these, yeah, these are the sort of blokes you meet out of the bush, bloody welder do chippies and welders and tradesmen. Uh, they can afford a 6,000. Whereas the likes of myself, you know, I had to sell my bloody body to uh, <laughs> <laughs> and $9,000. I tell you, a dollar a time takes a bit of doing. Yeah, but right. anyhow, when you're out the bush, you'll see blokes detecting in the distance and you'll, you, it's your automatic reaction to move away from them. Go over and have a yarn to them. And if, if they're grumpy bastards, move away from them. But <laughs> Mark's a good, friendly bloke. He's on the 6,000. He's chasing the gold, as we all are. Yep. And never a truer word spoke. It's yep. bloody harder and harder mm -hmm. to find anything. Sure is. So if you're getting into it, hook up with your mate. Be like Mark. If you can afford it, bloody get it at the 6,000. If you can't, get the 5,000 and put the safety coil on it and give it your best shot. Good on you, Mark. Thanks a lot, mate. Nice because to meet you, fellas. We've had a slow day and uh, we've got a few little ones, but uh, nice to meet you. we're going to use you to draw the ladies in. <laughs> <laughs> we're in trouble now, aren't we? <laughs> well, it's all the comparison thing, see? They, they look at us and they think, well, geez, that's bloke. You know, he's a young, good looking fella. So, uh, uh, and Mark's built upside down, you'll notice as well. So he's got no hair up here and a beard down there. Well, I might as well grow up where I can grow. <laughs> good on up, you, Mark. Up philosophy. You're a good bloke. Good on you, boys. Get some gold. Let's go. Let's go. We can get buddy. down there, give that Dwayne a quick up, uh, kick up the ass and say, we make sure <laughs> yeah. I've told him we're not going home until we at least get one bit yeah, each. That's, that's the way. Yeah. Good I, luck, told, I told Ant once we couldn't go for lunch until we got a bit. It was two in the afternoon before we had a bloody lunch. I nearly ate you alive. Thumbs up, boys and girls. <laughs> nice Cheers, to meet mate. you guys. All See the best. Hope you, get, hope you get some gold. Thanks, Cheers. Mate, you too. <sighs> End of the day. Yes, mate. It's been a funny yeah. old day. We bloody... Uh, tough, hasn't it? Yeah, as the football coach used to say about me, ambition exerted ability. <laughs> <I> bloody... <laughs> I really thought we'd have a day out today. Yeah, we've got a little bit of gold. We've, we've chopped and changed. Uh, first place we started, we, we, I got down there, went to switch my detector on, <laughs> thought there was something wrong with it. <laughs> and there was indeed something wrong with it. You know how the battery slips in? Well, it was, it's a good idea to slip the battery exactly, in. Exactly, so. yeah. yeah. So, it always helps to have a battery yeah, in your detector. So 25 minute round trip 
go and get my battery. Right, yeah, so we'll have our way in. Yeah, before it starts rain, it's already starting to rain. It's been a bit of a wet day. Not too bad, but. Where, where do we stand? Uh, I, got you oh, blokes covered or not? You've got me. You've got us covered for sure. We've got yeah. three little ones. Yeah, and no, I've got six little ones. Yeah, we'll chuck ours on. It's yeah. not a, we'll just go like that. Three little ones for point three nine. Rightio, so... Uh, Nearly half a gram. Yeah, it hasn't been our worst day. No, no, that's right. We've met two blokes that we just had on film, uh, Mark and Dwayne. Dwayne didn't want to be on the film, but they said they'd like to get a bit each before they knock off, so it's getting dark. Even though it's only about yeah. quarter past four, it's getting dark real quick. It is. Which is, I think you might even nudge a gram, Glenn. No! No, God. that big, that looks no, pretty no, big. No. I one. reckon... Uh, have you got nearly half a gram? I reckon I've got six there. Six for point six. No, for point seven. I reckon one's a bit fatter. Point seven two. Yeah. So. Not bad. Well. Yeah. At least we'll get the uh, we'll get a gram between us. Spot on, won't we? With point two and uh, that point nine, it'll be it'll be. Oh no, you were no, three we were point. Yeah. So. Point three uh, 1. nine. One we should be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and uh, when earlier on in the day, you know how people have have a competition to see who's got the biggest. Uh, Ant and I had a competition to see who got the littlest. <laughs> and I got that one there, which headed off that one there as the smallest. But what's our weight, mate? So you won the littlest competition, you won the biggest competition, and the most competition, <laughs> and the weight! <laughs> Bugger. It's uh, 1.16. Oh, well. Can't complain. Ant and I were both saying how we were disappointed a bit. A bit and uh... Expectations were high after the last one. Yeah, they were. They were. <laughs> but still a good day. Yep. Still a good day. Righto. Ken has birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, yeah, Ken. Thank you. I wish we could have given you a bigger nugget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Patrick Ryan, good on you, mate. I didn't find a five answer, but thanks for the shout out last night and, good on you, Pat. and, and uh, to talk. Maury Hazel. Maury, good on you, Maury. Cheers, legend. Thanks yeah. for watching. And, and Leah, Leah Monkey. Monkey. Yes. Leah's Maury's daughter, is yes. that right? Yes. Yep. And Nathan Uzard, or Izzard from uh, San Juan. Good on you, Nathan. Cheers, Nathan. Good mate. Right out. Right, we'll catch you next time. Thumbs up. Have a good week. Yeah. See you guys. Bye, bye. See you later.